As front-end developers, we're used to code reviews from fellow coders. But what we can't get used to are handling all of those other reviews that seem to follow. Because in order to release a new feature, you need a thumbs up from a bunch of other people on the team. Designers, QA, product managers, and maybe even those folks in marketing. To make this happen, many developers use staging or preview environments to share progress with these other stakeholders. But the problem is that these environments just let everyone see what you're up to. They don't actually help to coordinate or collect any of the review feedback that people have. And as a result, code owners end up with a mess of unclear, isolated comments coming in on a bunch of different platforms at different times. And this is where Lifecycle comes in. By installing Lifecycle on your front-end repository, you turn your passive preview environments into active collaborative playgrounds. With Lifecycle, anyone who opens the preview environment will not only see your work, but they can also comment on it in context on top of the product UI. Lifecycle works together with your preview environment pipeline to add a layer of built-in collaboration tools that keep all review comments in one place per environment. So the designers can leave you screenshots, QA can record a video of a problematic use case, and the folks in marketing can even edit the product copy and send it to you as a suggested change. And since everyone is working together in the same playground, the whole team is always on the same page. Lifecycle also integrates with your task management tools, so you won't have to change the way you work, and in fact, you'll actually enrich new tickets with relevant visual comments from Lifecycle. So check out how Lifecycle can bring collaboration to your development workflows to help your team resolve issues sooner and to help you push code to production without delays. Although coders are allergic to anything related to marketing, no developers were harmed in the making of this video.